So I'm going to use a kind of a live example to bring together some of the ideas that we've been talking about uh, in this workshop. So um, ideas about evaluating information, uh, applying critical thinking to to uh, to search activities, um, uh, different kinds of sources uh, that you might encounter as you're doing your research, as well as uh, search techniques. So I'm going to go with, uh, I, here I am in the library catalog, okay, uh, so I've gone to library.nuigalway.ie and then I've logged in. I can tell that by, uh, I've got my name up there in the upper right hand corner, and uh, uh, I'm just going to type in common cold as a, uh, as a kind of a key phrase search. And, um, you know, so on the one hand, um, you know, you get a, a whole bunch of information, basically. Um, you get a list of records um, down the sort of the center and the center uh, left of the screen. And then, um, and, uh, and at the top, you get a, a number of results. So, you know, there's a lot of information here and you can use that information to, uh, uh, you know, to start evaluating um, and decide what kinds of things you need to do now uh, to, to create a better kind of a search. So, um, so on the one hand, um, you know, the results are telling us they're okay. So there's 600,000 results and that's because the, the topic here is so broad. Um, and, uh, you know, so again, we would probably never actually do research into something this broad. This might be, you know, maybe you're at the very beginning of, of choosing a research topic or you've just started to, you've, you've been assigned a research topic, but you've just decided to use one part of that just to sort of get started, um, with the search. So, um, so lots of search results, and some of those inevitably are not going to be very relevant. Um, you know, if we were to scroll down, uh, we would start finding weird results like you know, uh, cold war common tactics uh, and this kind of thing. Uh, things that have nothing to do with the with the, you know the illness, the the common cold. Um, we you know, consider the information that that you know that is sort of displayed for you as as part of the record. So um, if we look at this first result right here, on the one hand, it's it's uh, it's a book, um, uh, and uh, but probably more importantly, we can see here 1947. So this is a very old uh, item, and it's going to be you know way too old. If you're if you're in you know nursing or medicine and you're you know, you're doing research into the common cold. Um, you know, this really isn't going to be useful information too. It's just, it's just much too old. So, uh, you know, this might be useful uh, for some kind of a historian of science, for example, to look at how, uh, how you know, medicine approached the common cold in the, the mid 20th century, uh, right? And uh, so that's why this item is here in our, our special collection. So that's, they, they tend to hold items of historical uh, or cultural interest, for example. Um, and the next result down is number two. It's a reference entry. So you see we're getting the, the, all those sort of different types of sources uh, coming together in this search. So we've got, you know, a sort of archival material, uh, number one. The second one is a reference entry. So this could be handy if you're, uh, you know, you want to get an overview of the state of research uh, about the common cold uh, these days. Uh, so it's a very, it's a very recent uh, reference entry, in fact. So this would be a good place to... Um, you know, to get started with your research. If you head into this uh, encyclopedia article, there's probably going to be links there to other research articles. Um, and um, yeah, so a good place to get started, but you wouldn't want to spend too, you know, too much time with, 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 with a reference entry. It's again, very distant from the, uh, from the, uh, from the, uh, from the research itself. And then uh, the third one there is, uh, you know, quite promising, uh, you know, this is actual research, or it looks like to me, uh, it's been, uh, you can see here, you've got the peer reviewed button. So that indicates that it's gone through peer reviewed process. It seems to be in a, uh, uh, you know, some kind of a, 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 a journal article. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's getting a little bit old now, 2011, uh, but certainly, you know, much more, you know, much more relevant in terms of its currency uh, than, uh, than that, that top item uh, from 1947. So uh, just in terms of the search techniques, let's see what happens. So let's pay attention to these results up here, 592,000 results. If I apply a, a, an exact phrase search, okay, an exact phrase search, common cold. Uh, so I'm putting the double inverted commas around common cold. 
uh, and uh, and we'll see what happens then. So we can see that the results go down from you know 600,000 to 14,000. Still a lot of results, but we've eliminated like 98% of them uh, just by wrapping those double inverted commas around the common cold. So that's something that will work in any database in some way, shape, or form. It'll it'll work in any database. Try it out. Uh, once you do move on to more sort of subject specific databases or even out there in uh, Google Scholar, uh, you know, see how it works for you. Um, and um, so much fewer results now. And uh, uh, we're still getting at the very top though, this sort of archival uh, one from 1947. So if we wanted to uh, get the more recent, the more current uh, results, one of the things we could do is we could sort the list over here. So. Um, there's a lot of sort of useful menu items over to the right, and one of them is the sort by, and I can sort it by uh, date newest, uh, and um, and now I'm getting uh, much more recent uh, research. And when you know it, it's you know uh, it has to do with COVID-19. Uh, that's the main subject of the article, um, but uh, uh, it you know this article has to do uh, it seems um, you know with sort of uh, uh, a generous, maybe a family a physician uh, sort of approach uh, to 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 uh, to the impact of COVID nineteen on their practice. So in situations where you know they'd be running into things like the common cold, people coming in with common cold or bronchitis or whatnot. Um, you know, what is the impact of COVID nineteen on that kind of uh, medical work? So um, so you know, relevant, current. Um, uh, we're starting to get somewhere in terms of of the results um, by by making a few changes to the to, to to the search. So um, so that's just you know a, a very a basic introduction to some of the things that you can do uh, with with a simple uh, a topic or, or key phrase uh, and bringing together again those those sort of you know evaluative thinking um, different kinds of sources you'll encounter and then and then some search techniques.